Welcome to this week's episode of the Spartan News. I'm your host, Elijah. And I'm Mike. In this week's episode, we'll be covering Mr. Jordan's classroom and our teacher's crib tour, taking a look at what some of our seniors are going to do after graduation, learning a bit more about Ms. Grimes, and much more. Juniors and seniors, don't forget to sign up for a time slot in the Hiring Expo. It will be held from 12.30 to 2.30 in the high school library on April 14th. Mr. Spartan will be back this year before Spring Fling on Saturday, April 15th at 5.30. The winners will donate all the proceeds to a charity of their choice. Contenders will be a group of senior boys. Tickets are available for $7. Speaking of April 15th, the annual Spring Fling will be held then from 7 to 10 p.m. in the main gym. The theme is Hoedown Showdown. Tickets are $10. Hope to see you there right in the Mechanical Bowl. Summer classes are filling up fast. Be sure to fill out and submit your applications. Applications are in the counselor's office and specifics on the classes are located on the application. Applications are first come, first serve. The Spartan Food Pantry is open every other week on Wednesdays to welcome guests to shop. They will be open on Wednesday, April 12th. Make sure you're checking your school email regularly as the school year winds down. A lot of information on upcoming events, deadlines, and opportunities are shared through the email, and you don't want to miss out on any of the important activities and events at the end of the school year. Later today, we have our first annual Sycamore Community Connections Hiring Expo from 12.30 to 2.30 in the high school library. There will be over 25 businesses looking for employees. Let's go to Emma with Mrs. Pointer and Mr. Anderson to learn more. What's up, Psycho High? I'm Emma, and this week we have a hiring expo. Let's go to Ms. Pointer and Mr. Anderson to see this new addition at Sycamore High School. Where did you guys get the idea to start this hiring expo at Sycamore High School? Well, a long time ago, we used to have a career fair um, for students to come walk through the library, and we wanted to change it up a little bit, so I knew Rochelle had one, um, so Mr. Anderson and I actually went and saw how they set it up and how it ran, and so we kind of took that idea and ran with it. We know that there's a lot of businesses looking for um, employees right now, and so we just wanted to bring the companies in and give students um, a chance to have something happen here at school. So if they can't drive or they have a hard time getting to businesses to look for jobs, we're bringing those here for them. What should students expect to see at the Expo? Uh, students should expect to see a lot of different opportunities and different job types. Um, so there's all kinds of ranges of skill sets. So it could be outdoor activities like being a lifeguard, working on the golf course, uh, to some warehouse jobs where maybe you're stocking shelves. Uh, pulling items for companies. Uh, you might be sitting behind a desk at um, an automotive uh, company store uh, answering phone calls. You might work some doggy daycare stuff. Uh, the list is uh, all-encompassing. There's 30 businesses here, so there's a lot to choose from. How important is it for students to get summer jobs and internships? Well, it's very important, I think, to get uh, summer jobs, internships, because uh, this is a lifelong skill. You're always working on soft skills, how to approach people, how to talk to them, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you also want to build a resume, because you're going to look for a real job someday, and you want to show that, hey, I've been hired before, I worked this job successfully. And then probably most important, it puts some money in your pocket so you get to buy whatever you want. Yeah. How many businesses will be there? Like Mr. Anderson said, we have 30 businesses that are coming. Um, they have all signed up to be here. They want to be here. And right now we have over 60 students signed up, so we're hoping to get more signed up. Um, if you have any questions on how to do that, please make sure to see Mr. Anderson or myself. Thank you. Okay. The expo will be from 12.30 to 2.30 for students and 2.30 to 4 for community members. There will be gift card prizes and you will get a chance to win a $500 scholarship if you get employed by one of these businesses. Now, back to the studio. Thanks, Emma. Make sure to stop by today for a chance to have a summer job or internship. There will be gift card raffles during each time slot, and if you get hired, you have an opportunity to win a $500 scholarship. Graduation is right around the corner, taking place on May 26th. We will be sending off our 2023 senior class into the rest of their lives. 
Colin, Javi, Elijah, and I went out and interviewed three of our seniors on what their plans are for after graduation. Here's what they had to say. I'm your host, Javi, and today we're going to be interviewing some seniors about their plans after graduation. Hey, uh, we are here with... Lily Doyle. How are you getting ready for graduating? Um, I'm getting all my schoolwork done and just preparing for graduation. What are you looking forward to after graduation? Being able to do more stuff. I feel like I'll have more of an open schedule in college and I won't have to worry as much. Uh, what will you miss about Sycamore High School? Um, probably the teachers, not really the students, but mostly the teachers. What was your favorite class this year? My favorite class this year is probably English. And why? It's my easiest class. I don't really have to do much. <laughs> Are you planning to study after graduating? I am still not sure what I plan to study after graduating. Do you know what college maybe you want to go to yet? Or? I think I'm going to go to Kish for two years and then maybe transfer to another school. All right. Thank you very much. I am here with... Andrew. How are you getting ready for graduating? Uh, well, to get ready for graduation, I have to maintain my GPA out of uh, 3.25 in order to get into my direct admit to my college. Also, to be prepared for college, I am uh, constantly watching TikToks on what to bring to my dorm room. And I am uh, looking for people from Illinois going to my college, which is Indiana Bloomington. And also to prepare for college, watching like a lot of orientation videos and going on a lot of college visits, which is also really nice. Uh, what are you looking forward to after graduation? Well, something I'm looking forward to after graduation is uh, being able to race people in track, especially Pierce Reinhardt, who I can easily beat any, any day. Um, uh, so those are our seniors. Those are some words from our seniors. I'm Javi, and now back to the studio. All of these sound like great plans, and we wish you the best of luck on your endeavors. We'll be right back with you. We'll be right back with more Spartan news after this short break. Hello, and today I will be showing you how to get to your Canvas calendar. First, and go to the waffle. Then scroll all the way down until you see Canvas LMS. And then once it loads, you should see on the left-hand side calendar. Click on it and then you'll be able to see all of your assignments. Now I can't. Thanks to all the cooperation with the recent hall sweeps. As a return, the school is hosting the first ever Spartan sweepstakes. If a teacher notices you being the best Spartan, then you may receive a ticket for your great behavior. Fill your name out on the ticket and turn it into the main office. The school has some of the great prizes, including two free prom tickets, parking permits for next year, and even more. Drawing will take place on the 23rd. Get out there and be the best Spartan you can. It sure did. Now to head on to our recurring segment, the Spartan Spotlight. Today we have an, interv an interview with Mrs. Grimes, one of our counselors here at SHS. Our crew asked her some questions about her career and her time here at Sycamore. Um, so I used to teach in Freeport and then um, my husband's job changed and we moved to Sycamore in 1995 and I fully intended to be a housewife and to stay home and then that didn't work out so well. I felt like I wanted to go back to work again so um, I saw a job posted on a little bulletin board at the admin building which is what they used to do and I applied and got a job here at the high school in 2001. At that time, my degree was in special education, and so I worked for the special education department. And counseling just seemed to work very naturally with special education, and so I got my master's degree, and then in 2001, I applied for it and got a job in the counseling office. And it's nice to get a whole group of students that are starting over again and saying, okay, we've got a fresh group coming in, 
hopefully you know um, we've got some new things coming up that they're going to be able to take advantage of and it's just nice to to meet new people and and see the new kids who are coming up here attend school every single day go to all of your classes and do your homework those seem like very basic things but those are things that make a huge difference if you're not in the Thank you, Ms. Grimes. That was great. Remember, if you ever need to talk to anyone, the counselors are always there for students. As we round out the year here at Sycamore High School, we need to be aware of some recently implemented tech rules. Today we are exploring one of these new rules with Andrew. Welcome to Sycamore High School, and today I'll be showing you what to do in order to get a learner Chromebook if you left yours at home. Next is... The new policy states that you have to hand in your phone or something else of value in order to get your Chromebook. Uh, make sure you bring it back at the end of the day and I'll return your phone to you at that time. All right? Thank you. Yep. And now you're all done. Congratulations. Definitely be sure to remember to bring my Chromebook in the future. Spartans, my name is CC. Today I'll be running through our March Madness winners and upcoming things we're doing. First off, congrats to our three March Madness winners. Getting third, our fellow TV production student, Colin Boffia. Coming in second, Michael Shammy, and finally winning the whole thing, Thatcher Friedrichs. Congrats, uh, congrats guys on some good brackets. And a surprise to probably everyone, all three correctly picked the national champion. Just a heads up for our upcoming sports shows, be on the lookout for a full NFL draft preview very soon as well as some fun stuff as the school year ends. That's all I have today. I'm TC. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for the sports update, TC. For our recurring segment of Crib Tours with Kennedy, today we have social studies teacher Mr. Jordan to take a look around his classroom looks like. Whoa. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome, Mr. Jordan. Welcome to my crib. All right, when you walk in, one of the first things you'll notice is I have the Constitution down loan from the Smithsonian. Nick Cage helped steal it for me. If you turn around here, this is something that I usually get questions on. Is almost a decade ago, I ran with the Bulls in Pamplona, Spain. The shirt is not actual blood and holes. That was a cheesy tourist shirt I purchased while there. I have a little bit of the history of the running of the Bulls. One of the reasons I think I did is because when I was a junior in this classroom with Mr. Anderson in the library, I read the book, The Sun Also rises from Ernest Hemingway and it was all about that. So school sometimes seeps into your brain that way. I've got a bunch of posters in my room. I hate dead space, but it's usually historic or political based or culture based. I joke with my students, there's probably an answer to every question on any of my quiz or tests somewhere on my board or somewhere in the walls of my room. I've got the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that hopefully are being abused in here. One of my favorite people in history is Diogenes. He was a citizen of the world and a cynic, kind of interesting guy. I've got the Electoral College map. I've got all the presidents except for the most recent one, Biden, since it's a little old. I've got U.S. history. I've got the maps of the world, the flags of the world. I'm trying to support and be inclusive. I've got flags over the ceiling tiles. Besides that, I've got a new poster that's got all the indigenous peoples of the world on there. Media bias, journalism. Also, I've got my weekly planner with my great artwork. If you can't tell by my marker boards, I am very OCD. I like to be organized and fill everything up. I've got our schedules because I forget them all the time. So it's a busy room. If you come back to this part of the crib, this isn't as organized perhaps, but I've got pictures of when I used to coach football and basketball. One thing is probably my most prized possession or possessions are all the thank you notes I've accumulated over the years from students, staff, or other people. It's a good reminder sometimes of what we're doing here, so dusting off some of these and taking a look and remembering some of the students who I shared some great experiences with. It's always fun. And this is a basketball signed by my first freshman group who I ever played here. Mr. Thurwanger's signature's on there, I believe, as he was a freshman on my basketball team. These are some of the few trophies that I've won as a freshman basketball coach for our prestigious 
Niners and winning. I'm a White Sox fan, so I've got some bobbleheads there. I don't know where I got this pair from. A student gave me a bottle of Joseph Stalinade. I don't know why, but they saw Stalin flavored soda and thought of me for some reason. Lastly, I guess we've got my bookshelf that I inherited from Mr. Anderson. I fear one day that this will fall on top of me and that'll be the end. Hopefully not. And the probably one thing I get asked on to a lot is who's in this picture. This is my sister and I. This is an awkward photo of me, I think, in sixth grade or in seventh grade. This is me in my awkward phase when I had uh, frosted tips trying to look like Justin Timberlake when he was in NSYNC. Good reminder, a good uh, humbling photo to have behind me, too. Besides that, that's about it. Thanks for coming to my crib. Thanks, Kennedy, and thanks to Mr. Jordan for showing us around your crib. I love seeing all the different maps you have. And that's all we have for this week, Spartans. I'm Elijah. And I'm Mike. It's hard to believe, but we're halfway through April, everyone. Have a great week, and we will see you again soon.